Hi friends, welcome back. I'm here with another <laughs> um, haul. I'm gonna probably do, be doing a couple series of hauls because I am um, trying to get this stuff put away and packaged up so it can be sent out and um, also packaged up so that I can gift um, to my friends when I'll be meeting up with them this weekend. So. Um, I previously shared what I picked up from Maker's Movement and I found another die that I had in my briefcase. So I thought I would share this one with you all. And this one is the Happy Day stamp set and it just creates a cocktail. And this is how it turned out. It's a shaker. It's kind of cute. So there's that. Okay, so I have things here. Let me go first and share with you all what I picked up from Dollar Tree. So they have some little stamps and um, I like these because it's a variety. Uh, these aren't the greatest but they do stamp well. So those are the sentiments for that one. Then I got this thank you one and I really like that it had um, touch beyond words um, and for your support and for thinking of me. And I'll always say that I appreciate you. So those are the sentiments for that little stamp. It's a good stamp to have. And then I got this one. Um, I have that postage die set by Waffle Flower. And I wasn't able to get the stamp set, so I'm going to use this in, um, in the interim until they get it back in stock. I haven't been able to find it. So there are the few stamp sets I got. I'm in a fruit theme swap, so I picked these up. I am going to probably put some goodies in there and send these off. They had a couple different fruits, but I picked up the watermelon and the pineapple and... Um, Jesus, they just open. So it's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice size, about the size of my palm. And then this one the top just comes off of. Of course, I can't get off on on camera. Anyway. Just put your goodies in there. So there's that. And then I picked up two things of some fruit themed tissue paper. So there's the vectors in that one. And there are the vectors in that one. And these bring eight, um, eight sheets each. So outside of those few things, I have my, sure some of you guys have seen this already, my small die of the month from Spellbinders. I haven't used it yet. So I go, uh, I'm kind of fickle about these dies because I have a lot of them that I don't use. So if there's something that I, you know, don't feel like I'm gonna use in either one of like the large or the small, then I cancel the subscription for that month and just restart it back over. So there's that. Um, as a club kit member, you get 10% off of everything, even the sales prices on most um, items. And you can also collect points to use towards future purchases. So there's that die set. It's called Tropical Friends. And I picked up this little um, set um, from Amazon. It just It's like a, um, they're calling it a shabby embossing. I don't know. It's like a, um, like, I guess a trim sample uh, die. And it's a smaller one and a larger one. And I picked up this heart locket said I had been meaning to get that for a while. I picked up these flowers. And if you hadn't watched my previous video in which I shared what I created for 
um, the fruit themed sheer, um, I made these flowers. Utilizing that die. So we got that size as well as a larger size. So there's that. I also picked up from Amazon this little die set. And it just says, let me take out the plastic. Sorry guys. It says get well soon. And it's got some um little medical devices. So there's that. I picked up the doodle bug, some of the doodle bug collection of get well. Um no, it's called Happy Healing. So I'll share that and when I do my scrapbook.com haul. I also picked up some sequins. Um, and I was just a fan of this because it had such a nice variety of colors to add into um, some of my sequin mixes. And these were on Amazon. I think they were like seven bucks. And then I got these jump rings as well. Um, because one of the requirements of the swap I'm doing is a tag flip. So I picked these up. I'll be able to give some of these and then keep some of these in my stash. So yeah, that's what I picked up from Spellbinders, Amazon, and Family Dollar. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Bye now. Hey, y'all. So it's going to be a day full of hauls. <laughs> So I'm on today with a couple more things that I picked up that um, I got from Dollar Tree. Now, I'm waiting for a little die to come and it has um, a place where you can use these small containers in. So I ordered, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I bought these from Dollar Tree and um, I needed some more transfer tape. This one is pretty good. So this is the Crafter Square brand. Um, and I like to put like decals and stuff on some glasses and just things that I have around that I like to uh, personalize. I picked up this mesh tubing because I am again in a fruit theme swap and I want to try to package it up pretty cute. So I picked that up. I saw these two sets of flowers. So I picked those up. I think they had some other colors. I'm sure they had like a black and a gray and a couple other colors, I think, but I only got these two. I have tons of these. And then I picked up these two bubble mailers, one in a watermelon theme and then one in a tropical theme, a flamingo theme. And there's two in each pack. So there was that. From Michaels, I picked up a couple of things. So I picked up these charms. I've already used one of them. These little charms from Creatology. And then I picked up these little fillers to add into my sequins mixes. Just different shapes. So I like those. And from uh, Hobby Lobby, I picked up finally, I was able to find this really small dauber. Um, it's the Paper Studio or whatever their brand is now. but. this little dauber oopsie and they, I picked up a pack of the refills as well so. sorry one fell on the floor so there's that from
Okay, so like I said, from Joann's, I picked up two more packs of these frames from um, Violet Studio. And these are kind of cute. They're all gingham. I like to use these to make shaker um, embellishments. These were all 50% off when I bought them. So I picked up this stamp set, stamp and stencil set by Tim Holtz. And it says, hello, my friend. Um, happy birthday wishes to you. Focus on the good. Thank you so much and best day ever. And there is the stencil set. And then I picked up this one. And this is um, the sentiments that it brings. I hope you guys can see that. Or here, here you are. I really like that one. Start somewhere. So there's that one. Then I got a couple of the uh, releases that they had. Um, in the stickers and the puffy stickers. So this one, I don't know which, well, Joyful Notes. It's a pink fresh, a pink paisley sticker set. I picked up these stickers called Happy Life. I used some of those already. This one called Splendid. This one is um, by Celis Gonzalo. And here are the vectors. And this I really like those shoes. So there's that one. Then I picked up these watermelon themed stickers. And they're called Fun in the Sun. So that. And I've got a couple things of these parasol um, really small puffy stickers. I like to add these as in, to my embellishments and things like that. So I got two of the Pebbles ones. And one of this Pebbles one. And I got this Joyful Notes one. And I got this Pebbles one. There's that from Joann's. And let's see. So I have something that my friend. Had gifted me. That I'm going to share. And it's these things from my creative time. As well as this. Um, stamp set so my friend gifted me with the mushroom stamps and dies and I got the beehive tag die the ginger ranger gear one um, the card die set the uh, three and a half by I'm sorry three in three quarters by four and three quarters card die set and then I have the girl and boy ginger dies and she also gifted me with um, a stamp a personalized stamp and this is what it looks like which I thought was nice because this is what I usually just uh, put on my cards. And I'm okay with this. And I'll probably still use this for like um, gifting to people I really don't know. Which is pretty much who I tend to um, create for. Because it, then it's not like I'm branding myself. But I put this on the outside of um, the card. 
the card sleeves. And then I also will sometimes put um, this in my uh, Happy Mail. So that's those things. So my next thing is a scrapbook.com and it's pretty substantial. So I'll uh, do that in a separate video. All right, guys.